You make it Sasparillion shoots it. If anything goes wrong, we can all put the blame on him. Hello everyone, this is Jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, of Tau Flader Mouse. Today we have an experimental shotgun slug made out of lead, created by a guy named Steve Pope. Now he poured the molten lead into a socket to form the outer shape, then he dressed it up on a lathe to give it a point, and then countersink the base of it. And by doing that, it looks like he moved the center of gravity forward a little bit. Now Steve did specify that you needed rifling for these things. So we're going to be shooting them through the rifle choke tube, which is just about a 5 inch extension on the end of our shotgun, which has rifling in it. What's up guys? Alright, so we're here today with Jeff over at uh, Tough Later Mouse, and we're going to be shooting these... Uh, Jeff, what are they called again? Gear drive. Gear drive. Can you see it from over there? I bet you guys were surprised to see me here, huh? <laughs> Us California folks got to stick together. The only person missing out right now is uh, Matt V2099. <laughs> he contacted me last night, said he wished he was over here, but uh, maybe someday all three of us can get together. All right, so let's shoot him. Now, first test, we're going to shoot at Doug wearing the Kevlar vest. Hit it! Did I hit it? Yeah. I don't know where. Now Edwin's shot was just uh, about an inch and a half off at, at the most, but that was the first time he ever shot that shotgun. We didn't even take any practice shots, so he did quite well. Now after digging it out, you can see that the slug is a little bit mushroomed out, and it looks like it hit nose first. Let's see what the high speed looks like. Now this slug is going about 1,200 feet per second. Looks like we have good rotation from that rifle choke. Everything went well with this slug. Well done, Steve. Edwin's second shot was much better, much closer to the mark. The slug went right through that TV and it looks like it went nose first again. Edwin brought all kinds of cool stuff with him when he came down to shoot with me and it was really a lot of fun filming with him. He's really a fun guy. But looking at the high speed, it looks like everything went well. It looks like the nitro card stuck to it till the last second. Jeff, you gotta say to hit it. Hit it! Holy... <laughs> And no Talflator Mouse video is complete without a ballistic gummy bear test. I want to thank William from the Wound Channel for giving us that ballistic gel. If you want to see what it looks like when it's new, check out his channel. Break yourself, fool. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Look at that. And you'll notice in this shot, the slug is starting to tumble a little bit. It's not as stable and therefore not as accurate as the other shots. And there's a good possibility that since all these slugs were identical, the way I loaded this one into the shell, I could have done something wrong. Oh, you got, you got those girly fingernails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all the uh, manicure and pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just... It hit nose first. It's almost an inch deep. Not bad. That wasn't bad at all. No. Okay, use the Lamaze breathing technique so you get it right this time. Okay, anytime you're ready. That was a hit. Yep. Wow, it just goes way back in there. There is a hole here, but that it, that's it's, that's all. Okay. Probably hit the crankshaft inside there. And it's just out there. Yeah, but good shot. Once again, the slug had excellent rotation, excellent stability, and because of that, it was accurate. And that slug just went into that engine like it was made out of paper mache. Now, if you're curious, this was filmed at about 5,000 frames per second. And I'll talk a little bit about the man that made this camera in a minute. Is a pan bulletproof? Hit it! Nope, it's not. 
The man that designed and built this camera, his name is David from the YouTube channel Tesla 500. He is probably the most driven and intelligent person I've ever spoken with. I will definitely do a review and talk about this camera much more in a few more weeks. He's not quite ready for me to talk too much about it. What do you have there? Some kind of party thing? Yeah, goofy string. Also, AKA silly string. So what I did was took uh, all of them and then put them uh, <laughs> together like this. Oh. 32 of them. Oh, that's gonna make a mess. Yeah, we'll see what happens. That's awesome though. Shake it like you really mean it. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Hit Fire in the hole. <laughs> Not sure if that was as exciting as I thought it would be. Now this shot was at 600 frames per second with my old Casio EX F1. It's not too bad, but there's definitely room for improvement. I believe this was shot at about 4500 to 5000 frames per second. And you can see there's a big difference in quality and frame rate. But this is a very classic Edwin Sarkissian target. He shoots all kinds of wacky stuff like this in his videos. I hope you'll take the time to check out his channel too. What do you have to say about that? Uh, I thought it would have stopped it, but it didn't. Is this who sent it to you? Yeah. Joe Heaton? Hayden? I think that's, I'm not sure if it's Heaton or Hidden. Hayden, Hayden. Joe Heaton, Hayden, Hayden. Hayden. Thank you for sending us this TSA dish. He works for TSA. <laughs> so he specially sent it to us to do some test on it. Yeah, so it wouldn't be a good idea to use that as body armor. Remember? No, do not use that. <laughs> Go ahead, hit it. I think it missed. Think so? Yeah, you missed. And yes, we are still selling the Tau Flader Mouse Tactical Gummy Bear t-shirts. And Matt is probably selling those Demolition Ranch shirts too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.